Traditionally, innovation takes an investment in time and resources, especially in design and engineering, with design, test, design, and test again methodology. With generative design, you can explore multiple design solutions based on real-world manufacturing constraints and product performance requirements. In this example, we want to improve the performance of our robotic welder. We are looking at the end effector to see if we can reduce the weight and the overall complexity of the subassembly. The result is significantly lighter, which gives our robot better performance, and we also have a simpler assembly that's faster to put together and maintain. So let's see how we got to that final design option. With generative design, you define the conditions, not the geometry. We start with what's called preserved geometry. These are the connection points and mating geometry that are required for the final component. Next is obstacle geometry. This is where you don't want material to go. Think bolt holes and clearance areas where you can't have material. After you have these modeled inside of Fusion 360, we can hit generate. Inside of generative design under the design space, we simply select a preserved geometry and assign it, and then do the same for obstacle geometry. Next, we'll define the constraints or where the object is being held. In this case, it's the connection face to the robotic welder. We'll then add the loads or the real world conditions that our part needs to stand up to to our preserved region geometry's connection points. Our objective is to minimize mass and we'll add a safety factor of seven. This helps with the guidance to generate the geometry. We'll choose unrestrictive and additive for our manufacturing methods. And of course, we'll choose the materials. You can choose up to 10 per study. We'll set the synthesis topology to accurate. This will help give a tighter resolution to the final geometry. Finally, we'll hit Generate, name our study, and save it. After our study completes, we can explore our outcomes a couple of different ways. Once we find a study that meets our needs, we can export it to an SAT or STL file. In this case, we're going to open it up inside of Inventor and drop it into our robotic welder assembly. Generative design helps deliver innovative engineering design solutions without the traditional investment in time and resources.